We will be doing a tortoise enrichment video today. I have three different things to try out. This is a rope here I'll be hanging the kale off of. He definitely smells that tortoise diet. Look at him searching in there, trying to get it. We got a better angle here. He's going for that squash. Hey guys, how's it going? We're following up on the video last week that you guys love the Aki Monitor Enrichment video, and we will be doing a tortoise enrichment video today with Tortellini. I don't think this one came out just as good. Uh, he was a little bit more finicky, but I think there were some really cool things that went on. So let's get to it, but before we do, a couple announcements. Make sure to check out the Patreon. Shout out to Herb M and David T for supporting it. I'd really appreciate it if you guys check it out. You can do as low as $1 a month and get access to behind the scenes content really cool stuff. Check out the merch. Like always, I'm wearing this on Tuesday, but that's coming out on Wednesday, so that is why I'm wearing Tongue Out Tuesday. Just always have to clarify, but if you want to check out that merch, make sure to check the top right. Lastly, guys, make sure to check out the Herp Hour on Twitch. Me and Dakota go live every Saturday with a guest. We have homegrown scales coming up this weekend, so do not miss it. So just like the Aki Monitor in Richmond video, I have three different things to try out. We have them right here. One, I'm gonna try hanging uh, this piece of kale over uh, a rope. It's in here because I'm kind of mixing it in with some tortoise diet. I put in some, uh, what's it called, some squash and some tortoise diet in these other ones as well, just to encourage them, since he's not gonna be as uh, food motivated as the Aki's. The other ones are pretty similar. They're just two different styles. Uh, they have greens hanging out, kale and mustard greens, and then, like I said, squash and tortoise diet in here. So this should motivate them. I don't expect them to eat all this. I just kind of want to see them uh, attempt to just to see how it goes. So let's try that out. We'll start with the rope one first. Okay, so this is a rope here I'll be hanging the kale off of. The purpose of this is that he has to reach up to grab it. Uh, and do a little bit more stretching than to eat his food. Uh, kale works really well with this, although I would not recommend it too much in a tortoise's diet or a Russian tortoise's diet, uh, just because it's a lot longer and more flexible, uh, at least than the mustard greens and uh, other greens I have. So I covered this, like I said, in some tortoise diet. And what I'm gonna do, I probably should have put it a little higher, but let's rip off the back here. And then I can try well, this is sinking down a lot. Let's see. <laughs> He's definitely checking it out. All right. Here, I'll have to hold it like that. Now, let's see if he checks it out and tries to eat it. Okay, so he's checking it out. He definitely smells that tortoise diet. He's not going for it yet, though. Kale, he, he enjoys kale as well, so I'm hoping that both that and it being smothered in tortoise diet motivates him. Um, but let's see, he's a little bit more, uh, food shy than the Aggies, like I said. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, guys, this is a different day here. Uh, he did not work with this one in my first attempt, so I thought I'd delay the video and see if I could get him to do it, uh, after maybe missing one meal, just to see if that would incentivize him. So, he's right below it. I don't know if this one's gonna be a hit. I don't really think it is at this point. Um, he did check it out in my first attempt as you guys saw, but um, I, I don't know. I, I don't think he really gets this one. Uh, the good news is, is I briefly put in the other two, and it seemed like he got that. Um, I didn't let him really go at it because I wanted him to try this first, but I think the other two will be a success. Tortellini really got this one. This was not successful. So we're going to try the next ones. I do have a video of someone successfully implementing that. That should be over me right now that you're watching. So that's how it's supposed to go. Here is the second of three toys I have. I have another ball left. I like this ball uh, idea wise a lot more just because it looks harder to get into. I also want to note that I put a lot more than I typically would feed him in there. Uh, especially when it comes to squash and tortoise diet. I'm just trying to incentivize him. I actually missed a little bit of footage where he was pushing it around. So I'm hoping that that wasn't the only action I got. Um, and he'll come and check this out. Okay, so I moved it a little bit closer to where I typically put his food. Uh, I don't know why he's not walking on the left side of the enclosure, but here we go. I think he sees the squash. 
How I suggest doing this is giving a little incentive on the outside with some treats. Now you don't want to overwhelm with too much treats because then he won't eat any of the greens. Uh, but if you put the treats more in the middle uh, and kind of stuff it with the greens and kind of plug it so he has to work a little bit harder, but you do leave some treats on the outside so he knows there's treats in it. I mean, they would probably pick it up via the smell, but just in case, I think that's the best way to do it. I think using the greens as a plug for sort of the, the treats inside your, you know, your tortoise diet, your squash, uh, is the best way to go about it. Uh, but don't overwhelm it with the treats. I definitely would say I kind of overwhelm this with the treats a little bit too much. But uh, after the last one, I really wanted to get at least one of these working. So, um, you know, <laughs> that's why I went down that road. Uh, but I don't anticipate them to eat all this stuff. Uh, I think that squash I put there was a little too easy to get. Um, but let me see. I don't want to piss you off, Torlini, and don't get my finger, please. Um... But I want you to have to work a little bit for it. But you can see how unstable it is. So he kind of has to hold it a little bit. Even when he goes to bite it, it rocks around. Which is not that, you know, great for him. It's a little unsturdy. And especially with some of the squashes in it and kind of stuck, he's going to have to work uh, sort of that out there and be able to grip it and bite into it. Uh, so let's see if he uh, figures this out a little bit more. Um, and let me try to get a different angle since uh, he's on the opposite side now. Look at him searching in there, trying to get it. I really love how unstable it is, like I said, uh, because that way he can't just like, you know, just stick his head and grab it. He's got to kind of hold it too, um, which is pretty cool. He had his head through one of the holes just a moment ago, which was pretty funny, uh, but I had to take it off the stand so I didn't get it on the recording. I think he's kind of doing it now. Um, there we go. Let's see. Now that he knocked it over. For some reason, he is not going for his food when he knocks it off of his little plate here. I don't know what you want to call it. I'm just going to call it a plate. Uh, but this is really cool. He's really going at it here. He's really trying to problem solve. You can see that by how he reacts when it moves and he's going around and looking at different corners. Uh, so this is pretty cool. It's really kind of like a puzzle for eating. That's kind of how I see it. Let's see if I could get one more angle here from the other side. Um, he's definitely confused by it because he doesn't, he keeps walking by it, looking at it. Um, he keeps trying to bite the blue ball, the actual ball, uh, which is kind of funny. I think that's what the confusing part is. Uh, but he definitely wants the food. He's just really, you know, sketched out by what this is. There we go. We got a better angle here. He's going for that squash right there. You see how he just can't grip it? Um, he's really got a lock down on it. Um, I really want to see if he like kind of tries to hold it. I saw him try a couple times, um, but maybe as he chews into it and it gets harder to pull out, uh, he'll have to resort to doing that. Um, but very funny and cute to watch. Let's try the other ball though, since that's going to be a little bit more accessible, and I'll see which ball I think is kind of better to use. I gotta be honest, this ball actually worked out a lot better than I thought. The one problem with the ball previous to this is it's hard to get uh, longer green, something bulkier in it, um, without it kind of sticking out a little bit. It looks like, uh, I think, uh, apparent on camera as well, uh, that the greens, everything, the squash is much more inside the ball here. So he's gonna have to work a little bit harder. It's not kind of uh, sticking out as much. So I definitely like this ball for that aspect. Uh, but let's see what he thinks. Okay, he's approaching it. I think he sees that tortoise die right there, smells it. Oh, that was really cool. Let me get on the other side here. He was really confused by that. This is definitely different to him. He is not anticipating this moving. Um, he just knows it's food and then he hits it and it moves and he's just really confused. You can really tell by his face. Let's see if he has one more attempt in him at this ball. Um, I think there's a piece of squash right there. If he notices it, he'll go for it. Uh, I don't know. I think he's uh, swiping left on this ball right now. Um, I really want him to see that squash. I just want to see him go one more time at this thing. 
I think how this is going to go is that this will definitely work better and better over time as he kind of gets used to the movement. Because like I said, he's definitely confused that it's moving whenever he goes to bite something. But once he gets used to it, I think this will be very efficient. Like I did in the Aki Monitor Enrichment video, I want to give you guys an idea of what to do if you don't have any toys. A great way to give enrichment to tortoises is to provide different levels of terrain. Uh, one way I kind of do that is have these type of things in here. It's more solid. It's a different type of surface. Uh, the other thing, too, is if you have, a, you know, a burrowing tortoise, he usually kind of burrows in here like that. I like to fill back in his burrows, so he has to go and dig them back out um, and kind of do some searching for that. So providing different vertical levels, uh, building it up, that is something you can do to provide sort of enrichment for them. Just things they can search for and be curious about. That's a great way to enrich your tortoise. So that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed and got some ideas for enrichment. I hope to continue this with maybe my Bearded Dragon Max next. We'll see how that goes. I do really want to do Frappuccino my Tegu, but I'm giving them a little bit more recovery time before I do that. Anyway, guys, make sure to check out the Patreon, the merch, Twitch, the Herp Hour, Come join us on Saturday. You guys can now subscribe and give bits to us, and we'd really appreciate your support. All right, see you guys in the next video.